put this in a book anymore. They, but on the internet, a guy did a video about it. So I want to repair this. Well, never take apart, this is actually the brake lever here. Believe it or not. Just like Einstein, so what happens is, this is the brake lever. Do not take apart the brake lever side. I have done that already. Guys will come into our shop and say, I'm a real mechanic, and they're, rah, rah, rah. okay, take this wheel part, put it together, and every five minutes they walk by and they have it apart, and it will never go back together because they took it apart and they can't get the pieces. So to make sure you don't take that apart, you force yourself. Put it back on the bike, and usually it's a kid's bike upside down. Next we're gonna put it on this side. Oops, sorry. I didn't fall over. Bolt it onto the frame. Now, what happens is I can't accidentally take it apart the wrong side because it's folded there. I'll borrow that. And I had a 17 in my pocket. Nope, I got it. So, if you ever notice in diagrams in books, they'll have like a little dotted line as the pieces come off. Take off the outside nut and the dotted line that would come out and lay a white piece of paper down there and put it there. Then the next one's gonna come out and lay there and everything will get closer when I wanna go Use back together. Use the uh, tool, uh, the tool tray, this way you won't trip over it. I'm not worried. So, then I'm going to unlock it. So we're gonna have the young lady step around this side a minute. So you can see over here. Yeah, all the action's happening over here. So, <laughs> the cone wrench, is up against the 15. The lock nut is a 17. I unlock the, the 17, spin it off. Again, some of these only go on one way, but mostly they go on either way. Follow the dotted line, it goes out, and it's next in place. Then off comes the cone. There's a set of bearings behind it. It comes out. Insert music here. Oh boy. Nan will sing. Nan will sing. Because this comes out again it goes into line that when I pick it up, it follows the line back in. There's a small set of bearings. Normally most wheel sets have two sets of bearings. This will have three. This comes out, it lays in line. Now this is called the Bendix. Has those big gear screws on it. It comes out, it lays in line. Out comes the second set of gears. Bearings. It comes out, or yeah, bearings. Now here's the fun part. Take your hand and put it over here and cup it to catch what comes out. Now, this wheel, as it comes off, what does it do? It goes down and stays in line because if I flip it around, it won't go back on right. And that's why it's a trick for those guys to say, I know what I'm doing. Well, he can't put it back on because he has no idea. So it lays down the proper way. It's omnidirectional. The brake pads. This is the standard one. It has a little hump here. Some of them don't have that hump. And you can turn them around and mount them this way or mount them that way. This one with the hump, there's a little groove here and a groove there. See how they go into those two grooves? Now this is what makes it tick. I'm gonna borrow this piece back. You're riding along. As you pedal, this makes the wheel go round. As you coast, it's a safety bike, this all flies by and it just coasts. But whenever you pedal backwards, 
You see how it makes this go that way? The screw made it come out this way, but it can. It would be hitting the frame. So whenever you pedal backwards, what it does is it screws and pushes that ingenious, in ingenious. and the pads get fatter. The pads then whenever you pedal forward, it comes out and it coasts. So the whole time you're riding, they're just in there sliding along. And when you pedal backwards, it gets fat. The brake pads come out. The brake pads come out. That's what makes it tick. So very seldom do these go bad. If they go bad, you put that back in place. And it's just metal against metal. On those. Right. But you put grease all over everything. Okay. And they ne you think, well, they're going to wear out. They don't. Most likely, these two little tags, tabs, they'll break. The spring breaks. That's about the only thing I've ever seen. Or somebody took it apart and put the pads in wrong. And it'll make all sorts of funky noises. So you can rebuild. You can take these bearings out. Check the rays. Grease up the bearings like you normally do. Pack it. Check this. Make sure it's all there. Put it in place. It's there. Put one pad on. Lots of grease everywhere. And that is tabbed in the all right, small it's tabbed sheet in. metal. Put the two little tabs in place and put the wheel up until it's in place and it's there. Put in Bearing. the Bendix and as you can see, Bearing. it's all the way over there. Grease up the bearings in the race. How do you put that Bendix? What? How tight do you put the Bendix? Oh, it has to be, just push it all the way in. Okay, so you because, don't have to go tighten it or anything like that. No, you don't, because see okay. here how it's backing out when I spin it the wrong way? Right. I want it all the way in. Gotcha, okay. Put the third set of bearings in, grease up the cone, inspect it, run the cone up against, and now just like any other set of bearings that you have to do, you make the cone so tight that the wheel barely rocks back and forth, but not so tight that it doesn't spin. And then once you've done that, you'll run the locking nut up against it. So a little bit of rock, a little bit of rock. It spins, no rock. Bring the cone up against, lock it, double check it once you've locked it. Now, as you ride along, look, I can pedal it, it pedals. Look, it coast, I pedal, it coast. I pedal, I back pedal, it breaks, it stops. That's it. Now, some of them have three and two mm. speeds and maybe five speeds internal planetary gears. Mm. Do not take them apart <laughs> until, until you have read the book. Those you can find in a book. Those that have gears in them might have a little oil hole yeah. and you'll put in two to three drops of oil once every six to 12 months. Like a three speed. So like you can so you see it if it has gears. Yeah, you'll yes. see well, it. Well, strumly arc It'll have a tag speed. out okay. and it has the lever pulling the little chain. Right. Okay. But for a single speed, <clears throat> generally never you have to repair these, but when you do, they make all sorts of funky noises. They're not that complicated. But remember, never, ever, ever take apart the brake lever side unless it's British. There is an exception, <laughs> but most of the bikes you're going to fix are going to be locked that over there so it forces you, but also look, there's my workstation. I had a place to put my hand under, I didn't need to have three arms to hold it, unlock it, and so it makes it all doable. Thank you very much. Thank you. The Recycle Bicycle you. video.